all right my dear so in this video tutorial we are going to learn about thin cylinder as well as its basic concept and of course the numerical problem which has been asked in gate that's why you will have basic approach as well as approach to solve numerical problem one other thing i would like to share with you if you are preparing for gate or maybe university examination then thin cylinder is one of the most important topic to get question and this is a really simple topic and you can easily solve the question if we'll put if you'll we'll, uh, give one to two hours to build the approach to solve the numerical problem as well as to have something i mean to to remember the formulas okay so basically there are three things i mean i have divided these things into three uh, three part so one is stress another is strain yeah not two parts not three parts it's two parts only so there are basically two stress we find out one is hoop stress and another one is longitudinal stress but in case of strain there are three things one is hoop strain longitudinal strain and last one volumetric strain the question which has been asked in gate that question was asked from hoop stress okay so definitely we need to learn it so let me share with you formulas so for finding out hoop stress we need to what is the formula for it pd by 2t longitudinal stress pd by 4t hoop strain pd by 2t E. sorry it's D and PDY 4TE and volumetric strain is F yeah, strain is denoted by like this PDY 4TE 5 minus 4 new and this new is known as poison ratio it is what is poison ratio lateral strain by longitudinal strain okay so this is a poison ratio and all that right so these three these five formulas play most important role for finding out answer I mean, so pd40 is for uh, hope stress i'm uh, sorry hope strain two minus mu and for longitudinal one minus two mu yeah i was missing this so these four things these four things uh, i mean the five things not four these five formulas play most important role in case of thin cylinder right so most important thing how to remember all these formulas there is only one thing to remember these formulas that is practice practice a lot you can definitely remember these formulas and do revision with time if you will not do revision you will definitely forget these formulas this is not yours problem only this is a universal problem because there are a lot of formulas we need to remember so to remember a lot of formulas we have to work a little bit extra and that extra work is practice and do revision number of times that's why you will have all these formulas in your brain all the time right that's why you can do much better in the examination okay so i hope you understand it's all formulas and basic concept now one other thing which probably i'm missing that is thin cylinder so there are two types of basically cylinder we have studied one is thin and another was the thick thin and thick cylinder now when the cylinder is known as thin and when the cylinder is known as thick that is important so if if thickness of the cylinder is less than diameter of the diameter of the cylinder of its 10 times of diameter to its 15 time it is less than t then this is known as thin for thick it is just opposite thickness of the cylinder is greater than diameter of its 10 times to 15 times then it is known as thick cylinder so this is about thin cylinder and thick cylinder uh, you know how you can identify the cylinder is, is it thick or is it thin so this is all about it now i hope you wanted to learn that numerical problem right so 
this these formulas you need to remember now let's go for the numerical problem that's why you will understand and definitely you have something after this video right so let's have so what we have given a thin cylinder of inner radius 500 mm and thickness of 10 mm is subjected to an internal pressure of 5 megapascal the average circumferential hope stress in megapascal is so what we have to find out what we have to find out that is hope stress hope stress actually one of the guy who has been preparing for gate for a little long time he has qualified couple of times okay so i have asked him what is your approach to attempt the numerical problem probably i have sh i have shared this thing in maybe one or two videos okay but i don't know which video in which video i have shared but yes i have shared already shared these things but i am sharing again because it is worthful if you are getting question like this i mean the question is totally formula based then just what just see what you need to find out so here what we have to find out hoop stress okay now then write out the write down the formula to find out hoop stress that is PDY and it is already stated this is a thin cylinder so we don't need to identify identify that this is a thin cylinder or thick cylinder right so PDY what would be uh, we stress PDY 2D okay now what we require to find out who stress for this numerical problem that is P sorry D and P and T what is P pressure we have already given internal pressure P is equal to how much 5 megapascal so 5 megapascal its unit is megapascal okay so just write 5 only don't need to do anything because it is already asking megapascal right so we have we got p now d is equal to how much we have given radius is 500 mm so most of the time what we do we miss to mistake here we don't change it just use it in hurry so don't be in hurry just read what we have given so in this question we, we what we have given inner radius is equal to 500 mm that means diameter is equal to 1000 mm simple now what we have given another thickness t is equal to 10 mm so what we require to solve to find out hobby stress for this problem is three things we got from the question now you just which one is better write first and write the formula or first write formula then find out what you require to solve the numerical problem which one is better just think just think of yourself you can easily understand so after looking at few problems and solving few problems i decided and i have i did analysis that first write the uh, formula if the numerical problem is totally formula based then write what you have given that is much better right so 5 into 1000 2 into 2 multiple 10 this is we got it now let's solve this 500 into 1000 yeah 500 into 1000 into 2 multiple 10 what we got 250 so the answer is 250 and that should be in mega pascal because we haven't changed its unit okay uh, okay let me share with you how the unit is, unit is working so this is in mega pascal this is in mm and again mm so mm mm get cancelled and this become mega pascal so this is about finding out hope stress well if you are getting question like this in gate then it's just like you know give a gift for you you have must write that a gift for you because it's totally formula based and really quite easy to solve this question well most of the question you are not going to get like this but yes uh, those uh, those have faced this examination 2011 they got this question to solve the numerical problem and they were i think lucky to get such such question okay so so what we got here we got few formulas only so don't forget to solve numerical problem if you are getting from thin cylinder 
so what you have to do we have to just remember all these formulas you need to see the numerical problem and just solve it i hope you understand thin cylinder concept and you will not face any problem to solve the numerical problem okay i hope uh, you got something new from this video also thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye